Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I am standing in front of a gorgeous 1932 Ford. This baby's a three window coupe. She's got a 350 with a blower on top, dual fours, custom interior. You're gonna love checking this one out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll get it up in the air so you can check out the bottom side. Of course, we're gonna check out this motor up front. We're gonna take a look at the interior. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your street ride investment. So come on up and let's take a look at this little deuce coupe. All right, let's take a nice close look at this beautiful little car. Now she's got a 32 nose and that is a steel nose there. Um, the grill looks like it's stainless. It's in great shape. We've got A-frames here for the front suspension. So she drives real nice. Got disc brakes. And of course, take a look at this. This is the showpiece right here. B&M blower sitting on top of a small block Chevy with aluminum heads, aluminum water pump. We've got dual fours on her. Now, suicide doors, and man, them flames look cool. And watch this. Boom. Those doors operate awesome. This uh, popper works great. Now, there's a switch right back here to, to um, unlock the trunk back there. I just hit the switch there. We got our gas tank located here where it should be on a 32. Look inside the trunk here. We got a nice trunk prop. Everything's finished in here real nice. The battery's inside that box, so it's nice and easy to get to. Now look down the side of this car. She looks straight as an arrow. Black, flames. Man, this is a cool ride. I like my little skull body hit. There you go. Check that out. We'll take a nice close look at the interior here in a minute. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we spend the time to check these cars out before we buy them. When we bring them here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer any question you may have about the car when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now let's take a look at the interior. Look at this interior, man. Door panels look great. Now that looks like orange stitching in there. Armrest looks good, electric windows, and look at those seats. It says deuce in the headrest there. Nice and comfortable on the seats. Great looking dash, great looking steering wheel and column in this thing. Beautiful job, and look at the headliner. Look at that custom work there, man, that is sharp. And I see seat belts in there too. Now let me show you just how easy it is to get in here. Some of you might be worried about getting in. Well, I'm six foot tall and I weigh about 240 and look at this. I fit in here just fine. I got plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room, way lot of belly room. So guys, this car is sweet, I'm telling you. All right, this is the point in the video where normally we'd be driving, but we got some snow last night, so we're not driving this beautiful car in the snow. I tell you what though, listen to that uh, blower out there. She is sweet and I can just feel the power, man. It is so cool. Now we got the tack down here on the dash. Um, all the gauges we need here also. Speedo's working, that custom radio's working. Man, that thing is sweet. You can do anything with that. My kid's got the same one in his car. Um, She's just amazing. Now, again, like I said, I'm six foot tall. I got plenty of room. I weigh 240. I got plenty of room. Just a sweet ride here, guys. Now, at Vanguard, we are shipping experts. We can ship this little 32 anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you all about this car and just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive. Now you gotta stick around because we're gonna put it up in the air so you can check out the bottom side. And then of course, we're gonna take a look at that horse up front, making all that music coming out of those tailpipes. Man, she sounds like a race car.
All right, guys, this is the underside of our little hot rod Ford. Um, underneath here, there's quite a bit of custom stuff going on here, and I'll just try to systematically move through it and get as much done as possible in uh, the short of time as this video is. Um, starting here, you can see the exhaust. Looks like a big old three-inch tube on this thing, and that runs all the way up to the front, so uh, we got that positive going for us. Um, another thing I'd like to point out while we're here is uh, you can see that we've got uh, fully adjustable um, coilovers here, and that is uh, adjustable spring rate and ride height and adjustable dampening as well. So uh, all that's really cool. That's kind of more high performance type stuff, and I like to see that sort of stuff. Drums on either side of the 4 to 9 inch. Um, we do go through all these, and looking at that right there, it looks like that's a brand new wheel cylinder. Um, and of course, we've gone through this thing, and we make sure that, uh, that your shoes are installed properly, springs work right, your adjusters work right, uh, wheel cylinders aren't leaking, or the wrong ones for the car, so on and so forth. Um, and then, of course, in this particular case, we do got a parking brake as well on this um, to make sure that that's all properly hooked up. Um, <clears throat> moving forward to that, we got a, looks like a brand new whip hose on it, or brake uh, soft line. The ratio inside that case there is about a 350 to 1. It is posi, and uh, I guess that's maybe 4 to 9 inch. There ain't much more to say, to say about it than that. We got a uh, 4 link that's holding the thing in the car. Um, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4 points of contact, not to mention you've got either shock on either end of it here. So I would imagine this thing's relatively stable going down the road. Um, <clears throat> also, I'd like to point out while I'm back in this vicinity of the car, um, you do have an electric fuel pump back here. Um, looks like they use the nice EFI type clamps on it and the line looks like it's very nicely bent, not just bent over someone's knee. They used a bender to do it all, which uh, I always, if you've watched any of my videos before, uh, solid plumbing on a car and you know workmanship like that, that's what sells a car to me. And look at these welds here, I mean that right there, that's beautiful. Stuff like that, that's what sells cars to me is that type of stuff. Um, moving forward of all of that, you can see here that we've got this big old cross brace that's a uh, in here that's connecting the frame rails together with a big old drive shaft loop in it here just in case it ever decides to throw this thing um, you're going to be safe. Um, on either end of that you can see we've got uh, Flowmaster type mufflers it's essentially a no-name Flowmaster 40 series essentially um, three inch in three inch out um, and also moving forward to that you can see this guy even pinstriped the floor on this thing um, you can see we've got you know red flame pinstripes all over the place looks like low car cables here uh, it's all mounted in using uh, the nice insulated type P clamps. Horns over here, moving forward to that, we got our crossover, energy suspensions trans mount, um, turbo 400 transmission. Uh, for, you, for those of you who do not know, that is a four speed automatic, the fourth gear being an overdrive, and that coupled with the uh, 350 rear end gear in this thing is meaning this thing probably would cruise down the freeway at uh, not too concerning of an RPM. That's uh, always the big thing for us hot rod guys, is we don't want to overtax the motor, just trying to keep up with modern day traffic. Moving forward to that, you can see we've got a nice set of full length headers on this thing. Um, and I like how these are specifically made for this type of car because you can see that they actually tuck in to miss all the frame rails. And you can see here, you've got actually quite a bit of clearance on everything here. I mean, I can stick my whole hand up here on either side of the motor. Um, so I'm, I'm really liking that. And I'm also liking the fact that you've got AN lines going to your transmission. A bit overkill for a transmission, but uh, he's got really nice uh, stainless braided AN lines going all the way up. Um, very nice stuff here, fuel pressure regulator there. Big nice balancer on it, and I'm gonna get into this motor in just a second. I really can't wait, because there's quite a bit here uh, as far as this engine goes. But uh, I mean, all really nice stuff. Looks like AN lines going to this fuel uh, regulator. Rack and pinion steering on the thing, and once again, look at the welds on all of this stuff up here. This right here is what sells cars, or this right here is what would sell a car to a mechanic right here, is this type of workmanship right here. I like to see high quality welds, you know, nice neat wiring, so on and so forth. That's, that's what, it's re what it's really about as far as workmanship and building these hot rods. Um, front end on the thing, it's completely tubular. Uh, you got a fully adjustable, looks like upper control arm on the thing, lower control arm. It's all greasable type stuff, brand new looking. You got uh, all the boots are in good shape. Fully adjustable uh, coil over shock here. Once again, with the adjustable damper, adjustable ride height and spring rate. Um, they even have uh, the sway bar on the cars, even got some uh, I'm joints on it as well. Disc brakes in the front with uh, even stainless uh, braided brake lines on it and so on and so forth. Turn signals, if you didn't see it in the pictures of the car, turn signals are hidden right up here in the grill. Uh, nice and, you know, nice sleek look on the thing. Very, very cool. Uh, very nice job doing this. A lot of high quality components were used and uh, that's what it's really all about. Uh, let's check out wheels and tires and then I can really get into what's under, well, I guess would be if there was a hood underneath the hood. BF Goodrich, radial TA is what we got for uh, rolling stock on the thing, and it's on a set of uh, 
like stock type, I guess you'd say, era correct, I should say, uh, wire wheel type wheels. Um, you can see that, of course, this was all taken apart, and these were, you know, this and this was painted, and then, of course, then they reass reassembled the wheel after chroming all this stuff, and it gives you quite a bit of contrast. It looks very, very good, and I've always been a fan of just the old school Ford, uh, just plain, plain Jane hubcaps. Uh, let's go check out the rear. Uh, guys, in the back, we got uh, another BF uh, Goodrich Radial TA. 25570R15 is the size of the, of the tire that's on it, and once again, it's a 15-inch rim. Uh, the R15 is what that means. Um, and of course, it's done the same way that the, uh, the front rim is, plain Jane hubcap, so on and so forth. And uh, I think right here is a good uh, point to point out that the really, it's got a really nice gas tank with, a, you know, the way all this stuff is routed from this angle, you can get a good look at all of it. Um, very nice workmanship on this car and the, the taillights hidden away kind of up underneath the body here in between the frame and the body. It's uh, overall a pretty nice job uh, building this one. I guess at this point we'll uh, talk about the nice job that the Holbrook did on the motor. Okay guys, um, in the engine compartment of this one, this is a small block Chevy. Um, the bottom end of it, I guess we'll start with the base of it because there's a lot to kind of go through here. The base of it, it's a uh, 39710 block, which is the most common casting number. Uh, more specifically, it's a 71, uh, judging by the casting date back there. I think it's A31, which would be uh, January 3rd, 1971, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's the block on it. The crankshaft, uh, to our knowledge, is a GM forged crankshaft along with GM forged rods. And it has TRW pistons in it. Uh, I think like a 20cc dish, if I'm not mistaken. The net is right around a 8.6 to 1 compression ratio. And that's important because of the blower on this thing. Uh, you want a little bit lower compression ratios with these blowers, especially if you're going to street drive them. Um, on top of all of that stuff, cylinder heads, uh, trick flow cylinder heads on it. Um, on top of all that, we got the B&M blower on it. I believe this is a B&M blower indeed, um, or in fact, I should say. It uh, puts out about eight pounds of boost when you're really into it, which is, which is pretty good for this thing. It's a nice, uh, safe number, I should, I should say. Um, on top of the, uh, the blower, we've got twin Holley uh, 600 CFM carburetors, and more specifically, these are uh, dual feeds, uh, mechanical secondaries, they are blower correct, so um, they have been modified to work properly with your blower as opposed to, you know, them being, a, you know, the, as far as your jetting goes, your power valve modifications, so on and so forth. Um, and also I'd like to point out that uh, the fuel lines on this thing, they have a really nice fuel log over here. It's all, um, you know, put together with very nice fittings and everything is like a, a or not, I should say AN, it's a, what do you call it, double flare fittings that go into everything. Everything has its own separate line. It's all very nicely bent and made. No kinks or anything like that. Um, and of course, the, even they went as far to do the same with even the vacuum lines that come off of this that give your signal to your intake manifold to this thing. So all very nice stuff um, as far as your fuel delivery goes. And uh, the word is that uh, Holbrook actually built this engine. And Holbrook, for those of which that don't know, um, it's a local, uh, I shouldn't say local, it's it, it's a relatively well-known race shop, uh, Holbrook Racing Engines, and uh, apparently they're the ones that put this engine together, and uh, if you drive it, it's, it's pretty apparent that someone, that someone who knew what they were doing put this together. Um, very, very good running car. Um, also, behind all of this stuff, we do have an MSD distributor in the thing, uh, MSD wires on it, uh, and they're all held in place very nicely with all of this uh, wire holder. You can see we've got an MSD coil with a matching MSD coil wire on it. Uh, low car dipstick for the transmission, which is all nice stuff. Once again, we've got AN line coming all the way up here to the fuel log. Nice uh, uh, auto uh, auto gauge, um, fuel pressure uh, gauge over here. You can see the AN lines here, uh, down here at the radiator going into the uh, trans cooler. Um, I'd also like to point out the electric fan and the aluminum radiator that this thing has. And you can see that right down there. That's a thermostat control, which means you don't have to turn this on. This actually can come on automatically when you go ahead and uh, get in the car. And then the, uh, you start it up and it starts warming up. Engine comes up to temperature and that fan kicks on automatically when it senses that things are getting warm. And uh, that's actually a nice thing to have. You, there's no switches, nothing you can forget about. It's kind of idiot proof. Um, Outside of all of that stuff, is there too much more I can really say under here without taking up too much time? I suppose not. Just overall, just the build and the workmanship of the car. Um, so I guess that about sums it up, guys. If uh, you would like to have this little street rod parked in your driveway, make sure to call Thomas, the number below, and that Vanguard Motor Sales park this thing in your driveway. <laughs>